Funny thing this life of a vagabond, we're always on the move. We just make new friends and then we're off on the next adventure. The thing we miss most is our family and friends. Keeping in touch is paramount and if you want to get out here too, it's likely something you'll want to figure out. With Meg's health on the up and up, we're now free to head offshore again. So this week you find us in Brisbane making final preparations for our passage to New Caledonia. Yeah, so with our, uh, our stuck anchor ordeal, we didn't get away with that scot free apparently. We got, we got some small damage um, to the bow roller bolt that goes through there, we've bent that. And we've also we've bent the, the shaft for the winch which um, yeah the bolt's an easy one to fix I just got to replace the bolt but um, the, the old anchor winch uh, it still works all right but it doesn't particularly look that good so I might have to get another shaft turned up I'll just show you what's going on with it yeah. I've dropped the chain off the gypsy just for the exercise but I'll just run the winch <laughs> You can sort of see what I'm talking about. The old gypsy's going like this. Anyway, that's a job for another day. It's still working, that's the main thing. Rightio, water leaks on boats. Absolute drives Maggie insane. Got another little job going on here. The old HF area will go through the deck. I'm just going to install this guy. Currently it's just poked through the deck and it's had a little bit of silicon wrapped around it in the past and somebody leans on the wire and breaks the seal. Now we're all going inside. Anyway, we're going to fix it. Right here, we're going to rip this guy out of here. Right oh, the battery's flat. <laughs> right oh, Take two. New battery. Yeah, so we got that little guy in. Pretty painless exercise. I'll just show you. Next on the list was rebedding our portholes. Okay, only five more to go. Beauty, mate. New Caledonia, here we come. Last on our list was to catch up with dear friends of ours who happen to live just a few hours from the city. Radio, we're off on an adventure. We're off to uh, see our friends down at Byron Bay and say farewell. There is a life valley in the city. Just choosing our spot to leave the tender for a few days. Great idea, this pontoon. To get by. Doesn't make it easy. The other piece of my heart moves slow Somewhere in the great unknown When I return So we're really excited today because we're off down to the hinterland of Byron Bay to uh, catch up with some friends of ours who we haven't seen since our wedding actually and to have a farewell because we're off to you go <laughs> which is really exciting for us but what's pretty cool is um, Jane and David have built this beautiful boutique accommodation and uh, yeah I was really excited to go and check it out because it's on this magnificent macadamia farm um, tucked away in the hinterland so it'll be really cool really nice and awesome to go and see them so we've got this little stowaway with us today because their daughter's just had her first bumps and we're going to give her the travelling bear <laughs> really excited so I can't wait to see them <laughs> Paddock Hall lies on a working macadamia farm just inland from Byron Bay. It's aptly called Yalbaruba, meaning place of healing. Here we found a beautifully crafted bohemian styled house located in a private spot surrounded by lush green subtropical lands. 
Jane and David have created a space that oozes recuperation and reconnection with nature. Beautiful furnishings speak of quiet moments to be had, each piece well thought out for placement and relaxation. Houses for a beautiful place to be in, absolutely gorgeous space. And we're so lucky to be able to spend a few days here. I really love it because, uh, you know, for me, if we're not out in nature on the ocean exploring the beautiful places that we've taken you to, we both just love being connected to nature on the land. And uh, this space here is just perfect for that. So, yeah, just looking at the colours of green and all the trees and hearing the birds talking to each other in the background and all the farm animals and the space is so peaceful and you can smell the wood and breathe this gorgeous fresh air so it's just such a lovely space for us to be in before we spend so much time on the ocean again. Anyway we've been catching up all morning which has been really lovely and I'm going to do a couple of hours of editing and then I think we're going to play badminton on the lawn and uh, do a bit of gardening work so that'll be cool. Catch you later on. Gonna feed the troops. Yep, the troops are here. Come on this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Harsh. Jesus, that's a bit rough. Brutal. You guys are supposed to be mates. Who knew my honey would turn out to be the chook whisperer? But would he fare so well putting Bubba and Harper to bed? time with Jane and David it was really good and the really good news is, is that uh, the girls are going to come, come and visit us next year so it wasn't a time of sad goodbyes it was a time of exciting plans for the future so yeah we're just making our final haroos and I've got my mum on whatsapp hi <laughs> <laughs> that's my gorgeous mum <laughs> Yes, so communication has come along in leaps and bounds since when I first started sailing. You know, with apps like Facebook and WhatsApp, it makes it so much easier to keep in contact with people when you do have internet. And when we don't have internet, we use satellite phone for emails and text messages. And we also run a yacht tracker service for our friends and our patrons. And it allows people to keep a, a plot on where the boat is any day of the year. And that's pretty cool, actually. And I run a separate blog on that. So, yeah. They're the easy ways that we do keep in communication with everyone that we love and all of our gorgeous friends in this world. I hope that helps you out. Rightio, time to do our final provisions. So we are off to go shopping. Eight trips to the supermarket and we're ready to depart Brisbane. Woohoo! <laughs> Thank you for watching. Join us next week as we find the perfect weather window to set sail for New Caledonia. If you'd like to support our production, check out the benefits of becoming a member of our Patreon family and jump on board. Much love from us both. See you next week. <laughs>